It was 60 years ago today that nine African-American children entered an all-white high school in Little Rock after the Supreme Court declared separate schools for blacks and whites unconstitutional. Today, the eight survivors recalled that milestone in civil rights history and said the battle is not over. Jerika Duncan is in Little Rock. The memories of Central High School experience are always with me. They just sort of don't go away. Melba Bills was just 15 years old when she became one of nine black students in 1957 to integrate Little Rock Central High School. <laughs> After an angry mob blocked them from entering the school, President Dwight Eisenhower ordered federal troops to protect them. The students became known as the Little Rock Nine. The world came to Little Rock to see what would happen. Many Jean Brown Tricky says the hate she faced 60 years ago took away part of her innocence. One of the things I think um, that comes up is the fear, how we felt, and how we were so shattered. Tricky says back then they weren't invited to the prom or other social events. But today the Little Rock Nine were welcomed back and remembered for their sacrifice and their strength like when Elizabeth Eckford stayed composed despite numerous taunts aimed at her. None of us talked about what it was like inside the school for 30 years. Gloria Ray Karlmark remembered the last day of school and the message one white classmate left in her yearbook. She wrote, in a different age, we could have been friends. Terrence Roberts. Do you feel as though we're going backwards? No, but when you think about it, we're going forward very slowly because the forces of opposition keep pushing back. For the Little Rock Nine, they don't celebrate themselves. They instead celebrate the possibility they still represent today. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, Little Rock, Arkansas. Nine very brave students 60 years ago. That's the CBS Evening News. I'm Anthony Mason in New York. Thanks for watching. Good night.